Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video because recently I attended the Makeup by Mario Masterclass in Sydney, which for those of you who don't know, is a very iconic celebrity makeup artist. He is actually Kim Kardashian's personal makeup artist. So you guys can imagine how excited I was to attend this masterclass. He hasn't been to Australia in over 10 years. I do live in Perth, but I ended up flying over there just for the weekend purely to attend this masterclass because it was based in Sydney. So basically what I did originally plan on doing was vlogging the whole experience and also incorporating what I'm going to be doing today into the vlog. However, I decided to not actually vlog the experience because I thought about it and I was like, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to actually vlog it. Plus I really just wanted to be able to take in all of the information. And sometimes I do find that when I vlog things, I can't focus as much on the situation or I can't really take everything in as much as I would like to. So I didn't end up vlogging the weekend there, but I am going to be going through the whole goodie bag with you guys. Basically I paid for a VIP ticket, which meant I got to meet and greet him at the end and also got a goodie bag at the end. It's very pricey actually. It was a very pricey experience, but in my opinion, it was worth every single penny. With my chosen career, I thought it would be fantastic for me to be able to have something like this behind me to learn off such an iconic person in this industry. I received a certificate to be able to prove that I've been to this masterclass and then, yeah, a goodie bag that's just full of so many different products and so many different brands. So I'm going to be going through every single part of it today for you guys so that you can see everything that's in the makeup bag. If you ever do consider going to one of his masterclasses, then you're going to kind of have an idea of how spoiled you're going to get. If you purchase a VIP ticket, I would go to another masterclass of his if I can. I do remember him specifically saying as well that none of his masterclasses are exactly the same. There's always new things that he ends up teaching or new techniques that he might have picked up or anything like that. I definitely got a lot out of it and I'm so glad to now have that behind me for my career. Korea. Also for my freelancing, which I started just a couple of months ago on the side of my job. Here are my two Instagrams. The top one is my normal one and the bottom one is my Instagram for my freelancing account. So yeah, definitely check that one out. I'm taking on bookings. All of my information is on that Instagram page. However, if you have any inquiries or anything like that, don't hesitate to DM me and ask me any questions. Please do keep in mind, guys, that I do work weekends. Not all of the time, but a lot of the time I'm working over weekends, so I'm not always able to book people in. But definitely DM me and I'll try and fit you in if I can. Most of the time, it's absolutely fine. So yeah, just keep that one in mind when you are messaging me. It's not always definite, but I would definitely try my hardest to get you guys in for your special event. So, so in saying all of that, let's jump straight into the video because I feel like it's going to be quite a long video as it is because honestly guys, there are so many things in this bag. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also a little disclaimer, I'm not actually filming once a week at the moment. I'm being a little bit more lenient with my uploads due to me being very busy at the moment and also taking on my freelancing on the side. I'm still going to be doing YouTube, but I'm just going to be spacing it out a little bit more. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so first things first, I will show you the certificate that I received at the very end. In this little black slip like so. So it's just got the masterclass written across the top and then his name underneath. And there is the certificate. So yeah, that's that little part of it. Now, when we first got to the masterclass, we were also given a notepad and pen just so that we could take notes. I obviously took lots and lots of notes. So this was the little notepad that we were given. All right, now let's delve into this bag and show you everything that is in it. When I was given this bag, I was straight away completely, totally and utterly overwhelmed. I went to this masterclass with a girl that I work with. She is wonderful and we had the best time. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is a bunch of vouchers. So in the bag, we got a whole bunch of online shopping vouchers, a $25 gift voucher for Runaway the Label, a Cryolon Professional Makeup voucher, a $50 voucher for BSSA store, these all look really, really good as well. I haven't actually looked on the website for this BSSA store, but I'm super excited. A $50 voucher for Prem the Label, which is another label I've actually never heard of, but the picture on the back looks like it's some really nice classy clothing, so I'll definitely be checking that one out. A $20 voucher for our first purchase for Glamazon.com. A 
20% off all luxury cosmetics for Chantel Ram. So got some products from here in the bag, which I'll be showing you soon. So let's dive into the products. I'm not going to kind of section it out into like skincare and makeup because honestly, it's all just been popped into this bag and I'm not sure the location of everything. So I'm just going to kind of go through it as I can. First of all, I'm going to show you the It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Number no. 7 brush. He used this in his masterclass and he said that it was his favorite brush for foundation and concealer. So basically it is a dual ended brush. So this end here has got the buffing side and it is super, super, super soft. The other end you've got the like mini kind of buffing brush. So it's good for concealer or getting foundation in any smaller areas or anything like that. Next thing I'm going to grab out are some pairs of lashes. So I've got the Lily lashes here in the shade in the shade, in the style Miami, which are these ones here. So then some nice big lashes. They're quite 3D as well. I got one pair of the Faux Minx Huda Beauty lashes and this one's in the style Noel number 14. So there's some Huda Beauty lashes there. Got two pairs of the Lashed Co by Kate and Miss Edinburgh and Miss Rio. So this is the packaging for them. I thought it was really, really cute. Not the typical kind of packaging you'd see for a pair of eyelashes. Rio ones are very, very subtle, really natural type of lashes. And then Miss Edinburgh, these are stunning. I cannot wait to wear these. They have got that chunky kind of style where it looks like your lashes are sparse, but then quite thick in certain areas. I love that look. So I've got another style of lashes here. This this is from the brand Artemis, which is something I've actually never heard of myself personally. Um, but they come in this really nice little box. Then inside the box is the box with the lashes. <laughs> this is what they look like. So they're quite big. Again, very 3D and very wispy. They might look a little bit too big on my eyes. I have a very small eyes, so I have to be careful with how big I go with lash. They're absolutely beautiful, and if I don't wear them myself, I'll definitely be using them on clients. And I'm going to keep the packaging because it's cute. I then got one more set of lashes and these are actually individual single lashes. So these are from Mecha Maxima and they are the IMAX Single Ladies Fluttering Falsies. When I first got them, I thought these were strip lashes that were just very sparse and natural. However, I now know that they are individual lashes and they're super long and they'll be really really good to be able to create your own eye look all right so next up i'm going to pull out this mecha maxima bag so the eyelashes did actually come in this bag but i thought i'd show you the lashes all together so opening it up i've got one mini hula bronzer this is one of my all-time favorite bronzers and my one is actually currently smashed and there's your little mini hula how cute is it so i've got a mecha max lip gloss in the shade all nighter this is a very big lip gloss as well. I don't think I own a lip gloss that's this large in size. And it's got a doe foot applicator. It's going to be quite a pigmented gloss, so it's not um, a sheer gloss. It's got a very strong pigment through it, but I've actually already tried this one on, and it is beautiful. It's just like a staple pink gloss that every girl needs to own. And then after that, I have got the Hourglass Extreme Lash Mascara. And again, when I pulled this one out, I was like, wow, this is huge. It's a rather big mascara. I don't know about you guys, but I actually really like packaging that's heavy. I don't really know what it is, but as soon as I pick up a product that's quite heavy, I definitely, I don't know, I just like the feel of products that are heavy rather than light. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is just like a triangle shaped mascara, like so. And the applicator looks amazing. It doesn't look like it's going to be clumpy or anything like that. You know when you pull a mascara out of its bottle and you get that sound? I feel like that's what makes the mascara really good. So that one feels like it comes out really strong. So it's like not leaving tons and tons of product on the brush. I haven't tried this, so I'm thinking of maybe even doing like a first impressions using some of the products in here so that you guys can really see if I like them or not. Because like I said, I've kept everything nice and I haven't actually played with anything yet. So I don't know how good everything is, but it all just looks amazing. And next thing that I've got in here is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This is very, very unique packaging. I don't know how I actually feel about the packaging. I don't know if I like it. This one feels light and tacky, if I'm honest. But it looks really, really good. I just really don't like the packaging, but... <laughs> the thing I got was the Laura Mercier Ready, Set, Go Setting Powder. This is the translucent setting powder that everyone raves about. And I know that this product is a staple in so many people's kit or makeup routine. It is definitely a staple in mine, and only as of recently because I purchased it while I was in America, which wasn't that long ago, and I only tried it for the first time in America, so... It's fine. I finally got there in the end, so it's okay. Got a mini one of the Laura Mercier Ready Set Go setting powder. So this is the cutest thing ever. 
Look at how big it is. It is so cute. Having a mini is definitely going to be handy. I got a couple of tanning products. So this one is the Naked Tan Australia Goddess Instant Tan. Used by professionals, vegan friendly, and it is a wash off tan. I don't actually use instant tans very often, but this is meant to be a really good brand. I've actually looked it up online and it has got some amazing reviews. So I'm definitely going to give this one a go on my like in between tan days where I'm looking a little bit patchy and I need a little bit of a touch up. <laughs> Other tanning products that I got is the Bondi Sands Dark Tanning Mousse and it was the big bottle of it. So yeah, that one's in my bathroom. I can't really be bothered to go and get it, but that was the other tanning product. And then I also got a pack of two tanning mitts, which is also super handy because I needed a new one of those from that Naked Tan Australia brand. This came with two, but I have already given one of them to my sister. Next up, I got the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator. Guys, I was so goddamn excited about this because I have seen seen these all over Instagram and I've actually seen them in the store but I've never ever purchased one. They're quite expensive but I absolutely adore them. So this is the Face Illuminator in the shade Indiscretion. Now you guys just wait for this. See ya. <laughs> just to die for. Again I'm going to show you guys a close up but the packaging of it is just so beautiful. That is definitely one of my favourite things that I got in this pack. So next up I've got a product from the Chantel Ram. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name correctly because I've never actually heard of it before. But this one is just a liquid lipstick, I believe. So it doesn't actually say much on the packaging about this product. It is like this brownie kind of color. And it's in the shade number 11. Guys, my hair is so greasy. It's actually disgusting. It's fine though. Alright, so next I've got this Nip and Fab Exfoliate Daily Cleansing Pads. This one's really, really good because I guess sometimes we can all get a little bit lazy with our skincare. And I feel like this will be really handy to just take my makeup off with and then cleanse my skin with one of these pads afterwards. And you get 60 of them and it is for exfoliating and retexturizing the skin and then also brightening the skin. I think they'll just be good for a nice quick fix. So taking your makeup off and then going in with these instead of having to really cleanse your skin because you have it in these little pads. I'm super excited about this next one. It is the Kiehl's Ultra Face Cream, Ultra Facial Cream, sorry, and it is 50 ml. Yeah, this one is meant to be amazing. I have never used the brand Kiehl's, but I have heard so many good things about this brand. All right, next I have got a lipstick here. Now, this one doesn't actually say the brand. Here we go. So the, the brand is on the actual lipstick, not the box. It's on the actual lipstick. So it is Egyptian Queen Makeup, and it's in the shade 108 Melinda Matte. Personally, I don't think I'm going to grab this one very often. It's a really, really nice lipstick, just not the color that I would probably go for. Next, I have got the Kapari Coconut Rose Toner. Oh my god, I love the packaging. It's just like normal plastic bottle packaging at the top, but then here it's like a rubber texture. I get fascinated by packaging super easily, as you can probably tell. It's paraben free, no GMO, silicon free, sulfate free. I don't know how to say that free. <laughs> Cruelty free. You can also use it to set makeup, give a quick midday refresh or rehydrate skin after a long flight. Works wonders for all types of skin, especially sensitive types. So that sounds like an awesome, awesome, awesome product. I also heard once from a skincare specialist that it's best to mist a toner onto your skin. Um, so yeah, I love that about that product. And also from the brand Kapari, I got this lip glossy product. That is literally what it's called. And it just says, pucker up and glide it on. The more you apply, the glossier it gets. So it is just a completely clear color. So I guess it will be really good to be able to top over the top of any lipsticks to make them gloss. Or if you just want a clear, super glossy. Right, next, I've got this Face Hero, a powerful and protective face oil. So this is the little box that it came in. It just says Face Hero on it. And it's from the brand GoToSkincare.com. A really nice baby pink bottle with a little squeezy top. The pure, potent, super oils and antioxidants penetrate deeply to hydrate, revive, and ensure your lovely face again. The appearance of fine lines and dark spots. Face Hero is your all-in-one skin guardian and best friend. This is the next thing that we got. So this is the NYX Professional Makeup Matte versus Glow Packet. Got the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ruffle Trim. Got the Pore Filler and the Born to Glow. So the Pore Filler is a primer base and the Born to Glow is a liquid illuminator. He used this in his masterclass and he really loved it. He used it on the heights of her face to do a light highlight across the skin and it went on and we were all like, oh my god, that's beautiful. So it's just from NYX and yeah, it looked amazing on her skin. I've then got the This Is Everything Loving Lip Balm, the HD Finishing Powder, which I have heard this is just amazing. And then I've got the Away We Glow Illuminating Powder. So it's got four different shades throughout this one. You've got a blush, a highlight, and two different types of bronzing shades. And then I've got the Matte Finish Mini Matte Spray. I don't know if you guys are bored yet, but 
We're still going. Okay, so the next thing I've got is an original beauty blender. So I'm sure most of you know about these ones. So I'm super happy to have another one of those. And then I've got the, oh my God, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna put it up on the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the oil makeup remover. And oil makeup removers are always a really good thing to have, especially when you're wearing waterproof mascara, long wearing eyeliner, long wearing lipstick, anything like that. It's also really, really good to remove any stains out of brushes. You obviously have to be really careful with that because it is an oil. Using an oil makeup remover on like lip brushes or anything like that that might be stained from the pigment, this will take it out amazing. We haven't got that much to go. We're almost at the end. This is another pair of lashes that I forgot to show you guys at the start when I did do the lash from that Egyptian Queen Beauty again, the same one as the purple lipstick. And these are in the style Flutter By. But yeah, very 3D, very wispy and... Super glam. Also in that Mecca Maxima bag that I showed you at the start, I just forgot to put this one back in it. I got a mini of the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I absolutely love this one. So next up, I have got the Cryolan Professional Makeup Shimmering Event Foundation. I don't own anything like this product. It says here on the back that it is a very light and gentle fluid foundation for appealing light effects. It's luminescent, pearlescent pigments reflect the light in a truly magical way. The makeup appears light and transparent. So the next thing that I've got here is the so the next thing I've got here is the Makai and Asai prickly pear goji superberry hydrate and glow oil so it's from the brand youth to the people and it's in this kind of off gray kind of packaging and this is what it looks like I don't know again never heard of it but gonna give it a go and see what it's like left like the best parts to last so just just hold tight oh I didn't finish going through this bag Okay, I'm gonna go back to this Mecha Max my bag because my camera died and I got distracted and I didn't show you the rest of the things that were in this bag. It's the Mecha Maxima Bake and Set Jewel Ended Brush. Go set and go bananas with this double ended brush created to apply and set complexion baking powder, which is also in this bag. It's super, super soft. So this is the tapered side, which is used to sweep away any excess product. And then the flat side here, you can see that it's completely flat, is used to bake the product onto your skin. And then that is made to go with the Mecha Maxima Banana Bake Skin Filter. So this is the packaging for this one here. This is a brand new release, by the way, guys. So this is the packaging. That Go Bananas for this yellow-toned matte finishing powder that corrects, filters, and perfects for an Insta-glam, selfie-ready skin. And then that one also came with the Banana Bake Blurring Setting Spray, a mini version of that. And then the last thing that I got in this bag was the, the E35 Tapered Blending Brush. And now, Sigma is one of my all-time favorite brush brands. I absolutely love them. They were one of the first ever brush kits that I bought for myself. And we also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. It has got the pencil on the end, the retractable crayon. And then it's got the spoolie on the other end so you can brush through your brows. These will forever and have always been my favorite type of brow product. Another skincare product that we've got, this one I am going to be giving to my mum because she managed to convince me that I don't need it. But this is the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. So collagen is very, very, very good for your skin. However, as far as I know, you don't actually need it until you're around the age of 25. So I am going to give this one to my mum because she is absolutely loving collagen products at the moment. I got two Huda Beauty products. Products. The first one being a liquid matte lipstick and this one is in the shade Wifey. Just like a really nice neutral pinky nude color. The other Huda Beauty product that I got here was the Amethyst Obsessions palette. Now, when I was in America, I actually picked up one of these palettes. I picked up the Sunset one, I believe it's called. So it's like got all the orangey and kind of pinky tones through it. It is absolutely beautiful. So I was really, really excited to get another one of these. And these are the colors. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Her palettes are always so pigmented. The quality is amazing. So I'm super excited to play with this. So here I've got four other eyeshadow palettes. I was so overwhelmed when I pulled these out of the bag that I got four other eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Oh, there goes the brush. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this one all over the internet. I came very close to buying this one, but I hadn't yet. Um... So yeah, when I pulled this out of the bag, I was so excited because I had never actually picked up the product myself, but I really loved the color scheme across it. We've got the shader brush on one end and the blending brush on the other. So that one just slots in there and you're good to go. So yeah, I was super excited about that. Could not believe that this palette came in this goodie bag. I was like, 
Next one here is the Tartiest Pro palette. Okay, so one, the packaging is just amazing, but you guys wait till you see the colors in there. So this is the palette itself. All the shades here across the middle are completely matte, and then the ones down the side are shimmers. So 16 matte shades and four shimmer shades. Oh, I just feel like you could create so many different looks from this palette, so... I am just super excited about that. The last two palettes are some Morphe palettes. We've got two of these Morphe palettes, the 25A and the 25B. All right, so this one here is the Copper Spice palette. It's like warm tone heaven, but you've got a mix of shimmers and mattes. It's basically, all of them are war warm tones. There's probably two or three shades that are more cooler. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much all warm and they are just beautiful. So this is the bronzed mock. And 25 shades and a mix of mattes and shimmers. It's not quite as warm as the Copper Spice one, um, but it's got some burgundy tones and stuff like that through it. So yeah. So these are the last few things that I've got to show you. They're just some skincare kind of packs, like masks and stuff like that. This one here is um, Glow Home Spa Skin Smoothing Body Massage Glove. So it's an exfoliating glove. I know that this one will also be really good for removing tan because exfoliating gloves are a must. Right, the next one I've got is this Karuna Hydra Mud Face Mask. Green mud sheet mask. And you get one mask in this. So it is a mud face mask, which is something I've never actually tried before. Okay, so before I said that this was from the brand Glow, but I totally read that wrong and it's from the brand Glove. And then the last thing that I got was the Foot Chemistry 360 Foot Mask Exfoliator. And let's be real. These are fantastic. So and I do believe that that is everything. So that has brought me to the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy seeing everything that the goodie bag had in it. I was really, really overwhelmed. I didn't expect it to be that jam packed with so many amazing products. Again, like I said, I haven't actually played with any of these products yet, but they all just look and sound amazing. And I'm just so happy I went and I feel so lucky to have experienced that and learned from such an iconic person in the industry. I hope you really did enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.